I am the worst football manager ever and welcome back to the Gospel Gamble and today we're taking a little bit of a brief respite from getting knocked out of the FA Cup to see if we can um, make our form in the league any worse. Um, we're back to the league, back to this ultimatum, if you don't know yet you can go back and look at my previous videos. Um, just two videos before, three videos before, and you'll find out I had an ultimatum given to me from the board. Because I'm doing so badly, here's the league. Um, I am in 16th place, and this team we're predicted to be about 8th, uh, maybe? Are we predicted to be about 8th? Ninth. We're predicted to be ninth, and we're in 16th place. The board aren't happy, so they've given me this ultimatum. I've got five games to get nine points. So if I tell you, show you to my schedule, this is what's happened the last few games. Um, the first game of that ultimatum was against Hemel Hempstead in a 1-2-0. All good. Very happy. Three points in the bag. So I now need six points from four games, because the next two games we played with the FA Cup, and... Um, absolutely gutting those of you who watched that 2-2 draw and then get knocked out on penalties I hope you felt the pain I hope you felt the agony that I felt there like absolutely gutting I thought the boys played it they did alright and um, we even had a penalty in the last minute before extra time and they got, that got saved and um, oh, just nightmare so we're out of the FA Cup which is sad um, we're, it's, it's still the FA Trophy though which you know I arguably the better cup but so with today we are going to be playing Ebbsfleet in the second game of this ultimatum um, I have not beaten Ebbsfleet I've just seen from the home screen here previous meetings we have lost both times Ebbsfleet are a good side they're in sixth place at the moment they have got a good team as for me I'm in bad form I'm not doing well my top goal scorer with only three goals Jamie White is um, injured so that's no good we've got Andy Robinson who is a good player he is around still um, and some of these other players I'm just looking at here most man of the matches oh interesting Anyway, anyway, yeah, I'm getting sidetracked by these things. So um, let me just jump ahead straight into the game, shall we? Um, we had a bumper one yesterday, so let's see if we could just condense this one. Hopefully, this game, this this game shouldn't be as eventful. We should just win two nil, two goals, two you know things like that, and I'll be happy. Um, here's looks like they're going to be playing a four four two. I too am going to be playing a four four two. Here's the um, lineup. For you and I have changed things from the Oxford City games um, partly because I was playing a 4-3-3 with them but I've decided to go back to a 4-4-2 um, it's quite a basic one we've got um, following in from ideas from other people we've got two wingers we've got two fullbacks who are sort of playing in an automatic and I can depending on whether we need to bring them back or push them forward I can change that limited defenders um, who are in the defend, men defend mentality two central midfielders we've then got an advanced forward and a target man in the middle the only thing I might change but the thing is both of these are good central midfielders central midfielders are basically like the all round ones aren't they Responsible for providing an industrious and versatile link between the defence and the attack. Expect to perform a variety of tasks across the centre of pitch. Um, they benefit from having tactical awareness and technical ability to support both defensive and attacking play. So the fact they're going to be both, I think, should help. Um, and we'll, but we'll see. Again, I, I, I'm willing to change the sort of the roles as we go. I think what I'm beginning to learn from FM16 is that the roles are so key. And I think it was Miles Jason, the um, creator gave us a hint when he said about the importance of the roles and I'm beginning to understand that actually it's that mixture of trying to push players into what they know um, and what they feel comfortable in but also using players that do what you want them to do um, so anyway um, Jamal Lowe scored a goal in the last game his first goal for us as a, cl as a club so maybe the floodgates might open and we're putting him on and Charlie Collins we brought on as well Justin Bennett, who is my one of my better strikers, is having such poor form at the moment. Um, however, I am short on strikers in general. We've got this guy, Christian Owusu, who doesn't look too great, to be honest, but I've just brought him up as a backup. Justin Bennett is on the bench today. Um, look, he's 6.48 is his average rating over the last four games, which is just not simply not good enough. So we've taken him off. But let's see how we do. Um, Elliot Wheeler, yeah, he's not fully fit, we know that, but Elliot Wheeler is one of my, he's my best right back, and I need him, basically. It's as simple as that, I need him. I need all the help I can get. Um, so let's see how we do. I've got a bit of a cold today, so bear with me with my husky grrr, kind of voice. Hey. No, we'll see how we go. We've got, uh, they've got Haynes and Kedwell, Georgiou, Georg, Alain Georgiou, is that who it is? I don't, I don't know. Anthony Georgiou. 
He must. Be, he's got to be. He's got to be from Europe, hasn't he? He can't. He can't be purely British nationalities. Greek. There you go. Greek. Oh, that's not really Georgiou. I don't know how. how do you, what's a Greek accent? Stavros. Stav, I don't know. I. I'm not even going to try. I'm tempted. I'm so tempted to try and do a Greek accent, but I can't. But um, the Greek is there. Parks. Udomaga, Blair, Kennedy, blah blah blah, all these people. Um, we've got Collins and Jamal up front. We're going to do it today. I've got confidence in them today. Um, we have mark up Headwell, mark up Haynes. We're going to um, not mark them up, close them down, sorry. Close down Blair, and we're going to close down the Greek. And we'll see how we get on. Um, we are the underdog. We are the underdog. So we've got to push forward here. Give the give the fans a good performance despite the odd bit against us. Uh, yeah, Avenge. I'm finding they love, they simply love it. They love a bit of revenge. Um, some of that. Let's go. Okay, so uh, off we go with this game. And oh, they've still got the old. Oh dear, they still got the old uh, penalty taking uh, mentality on. So let's take um, camera. Let's go. Uh, let's. We want 2D for the things, and then replays. Replays. What do we want? Main stand. I think so. I think we'll go main stand. We'll see what that looks like anyway. Um, okay, here we are. We're in Gosport. Ooh, we're in Gosport. This is... I just feel the sea air. The sea air's in our lungs. We've got to push forward. Um, just seek to get an early goal, I think, would be helpful for us to get us on the front foot. Here's Wheeler crossed in. Oh, it got blocked out. And Evsley on the attack. Are they on? The, yeah, they're on the counter here. And Kedwell's running over. And now on the ball today, quite a lot of parks. Georgiou, the Greek, onto Kedwell. Kedwell, their striker, back to Udamaga. Parks. They're holding onto the ball. Well challenged from Harding there, but they haven't kept the ball. Evsley still on it. Wheeler, Kedwell. Difficulties. We're making lots of challenges here, but we're not keeping hold of the ball. If we're not careful, they are going to take it. And they're gonna, look at this, Haynes. Oh, and they've scored! Oh dear, Kedwell. This um, we've got to close them down much more. Not good. It's not a good start for us. Six minutes in, and we are one 0 down against Edsfleet, who we who we've never won against. So, uh, I struggle to see a victory in our sights here. Um, come on! Oh, what is this? So uh, they just held onto the ball a lot, passing it around. Oh, dear me. It's not good. Okay, um, it's not a good start. How's their body language? They seem not seem too bad at the moment. Let's just encourage them a little bit here. Come on, boys! I don't want this to be like a three-nil loss. Do you know what I mean? Like that would just be like, oh, like we we go from one game where we put loads into it, nearly win. You know what I mean? And like tons of effort in, and then this, which is just pitiful, which would be just miserable and. You know, terrible. Here they are on the attack again. There's a corner. Ebbsfleet, get it cleared again. Come on. Get some challenges and get the ball back. Here's Haynes holding on to it. Back to Langmead. Langmead. Ah, oh, Robinson's got it and he's passed it forward to Lowe. Good, good. We're on the attack here. Come on. Counter, counter. Jamal Lowe holds on to it. Waits for the players to come forward. Bet Spence keeps it on the pitch. Well done, Spence. Forward to Hurd. Forward, Collins! Yes! Great equaliser from Collins! Did you see? Oh, oh, oh. That was beautiful, that. Loved it. Absolutely loved that. 16 minutes in, one all. And uh, that was lovely play from Carl Spence, who has actually been telling me recently that he's not happy because he hasn't been getting first-time play. So a play like that will keep him on this team. Um, uh, yes, I'm very, very happy about that. Very happy. Oh yeah, come on boys. This is good. Oh literally. Literally a second after I say this is good. Strong beardy. What are you up to, mate? Come on. I should have said concentrate I didn't say concentrate, did I? I didn't say concentrate after we scored. So they got all excited. Then Parks has a free kick. They're all dilly dallying about and then Kedwell boom, there you go. In. Oh killer. Right, well, also we've got the wrong camera on. I want close for the camera. So I'm not even happy about the camera angle. All right, come on. Let's encourage them again. Come on. That is so annoying. Oh, come on. All right. Let's 
there are some just you know what I mean I'm just finding like none of my players are having a good game at the moment they're all like 6.5s 6.6s it's a couple of 6.7s if that's considered a good game um, Charlie Collins is having a good game he's like the only player that's having a decent one players are tired as well Ben Harding's tired here isn't he ok so what this looks like will take us to half time is Blair unless they score again which will be mega annoying come on get the challenge in challenge them Parks Haynes edge of the box don't let him shoot oh my 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 Delilah something something about Weetabix is there something about Weetabix something about my 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 Delilah something, something about it is Weetabix do you remember that that's not just me making that up is it I th uh, maybe it is maybe it's me making it up maybe I'm losing my mind because I'm losing oh come on this has not been good enough this has not been good enough aggressive much better f showing from you in the second half good look you look stressed why are you stressed you've got loads of energy you're playing a crap game oh whatever mate whatever don't give me that you need to calm down you need to calm down, sir. Sam Pierce seemed to calm down. Well, idiot. Okay, come on. Four, three one down. Three one down. Come on, boys. Let's do something with this game. Let's let's turn it on its head. We've had four shots. We've had three on target. You know what I mean? It's not like we're we're absolute rubbish. Although we are absolute rubbish, but it's I'm, I don't know what I'm saying. We kind of are rubbish, but also we should be able to do better than this. Um, Andy Robinson, Captain Andy, he's not having a good game here. Jamal Lowe also having a really shocker. Absolute shocker. Right, Bennett, you're coming back on, mate. This is your day, and I need him to have a good performance. I need you to play well, Bennett. I need you to get a good, decent goal. Aggressive. I want to see a good performance from you today. He seemed deep in thought. He's not so sure. He's like, I don't know if I fancy it today. I might do, but I might not. You know, I've um, I've got things to do later. I've got to go to Tesco later. I've uh, I've got to do a click and collect from Argos. He's he's thinking about later on. Um, the problem is, um, Argos probably closes at five, and and this game will probably finish at four forty-five. So he's literally got fifteen minutes to go and pick up his Argos delivery. So, no wonder he's. It seemed in deep thought. All right, let's, uh, let's take uh, Mike Carter's coming on. If anyone can do it, Mike Carter can. He's he's a good man. He's a good solid man. Come on, we've got to push forward now as well, haven't we? Come on, boys, push it forward a little bit. Let's start making some chances, more chances. We've had eight shots in total now. For only one shot on target this half. Strong beardy with a with a goal kick. Get the head on it, boys. Why do they always get it? They are always getting it. Blair. Oh, my goodness. It looked like it hit the post twice. That hit the post twice. Did you see that? But Justin Bennett, meanwhile, over to Collins. Oh, Collins. Oh, why? Why? Why can't... Why? Oh... Meanwhile, I, did you see it? I, their shot hit the post. Their shot hit the post then, like twice. It went on the. I think it was like post and then upright and then out. It looked insane. Um, right, got to make another change here. Andy Robinson, you're tired and you're not playing well. Elliot Wheeler actually is also playing really badly, but that's another story. There's me bigging him up at the beginning of this game. Oh, he's too tired. Well, he's not only tired, he's terrible man this is horrendous isn't it this is actually horrendous if I did you what is this episode 8 episode 9 this is episode 9 and I might be sacked soon this is bad this is so <laughs> bad um crikey uh I better start making some calculations here um because full time yeah so we have played we've got 5 games I'm going to write it down uh five games we've got three points from that no points from that so and we need nine we need nine points that there we go we've got three points from this game for the first game zero points from that game 
We've got one, two, we've got three more games to get six more points. So we have got to get, if we lose this one, we have to win the final two. If we draw this one, if we draw this one, what happens next? Yeah, we still, do we still have to win the final? Yeah, we still have to win the final two. So basically, oh no, I can lose one more if I do, of these last three games, if I can lose one more. Um, the performance was disappointing. Yeah, and they should know, I'm not happy with the result. Yeah, well, whatever, mate. Um, not happy. Not happy at all. Okay, so I've got. I've basically just got to win games. I've, it's as simple as that. It's like it's like we're playing football or something, and I got to win games. That is basically it. And who have I got next? Look at this, <laughs> Oxford City, who I drew nil nil with, and then they knocked me out on penalties. This is going to be revenge game. This is going to be absolutely like we have to destroy you guys now. Um, it's not looking good for us at all. Board confidence. Um, of course they're not very confident in me. We know that. We know that. Um, so anyway, next game. Game three against Oxford City is going to be the next episode. So join me next time. Thank you for joining me today. Meanwhile, any tips, any advice that you can give me on how I can improve this shambles of a team? Look at that. That is embarrassing, man. It's so embarrassing. Um, and do... Help me, help me, help me, help me. <laughs> I'm not going to cry. I promised I wouldn't cry. I promised Pinecone that I wouldn't cry. I'm not going to cry on you. I'm not. I'm not going to. Yeah, I know, but I'm not. I'm not going to cry. Maybe I, I'm not going to cry. Don't tell me I should cry. You, you cry. Anyway, catch me on Twitter. Catch me on Twitch. Uh, until next time, I'll see you later. <laughs>